So this is a cheap little sander that I got at uh, Menards. And it's a DC motor. It's a plug into AC, but I'm pretty sure it's a DC motor. If you're into heavy woodworking, it's probably not what you want. It's perfect for balsa wood and little stuff. And the neat thing about it, it's got a variable speed. So. so I've sanded pretty close to this line. You can get right next to it, but don't get on it. You want to be able to sand it. <clears throat> so this is the bit that's worked out really well for me. This is um, solid carbide. And it's got a spiral cut on it. I guess it would be an, an upcut spiral. And what I use it for is to uh, fine tune templates and tight corners. Not so much on the big straights, but let's say you get into this little curve here. Or if you're cutting the templates for the inside of the core, I'll turn the Dremel down on a low speed. Use your thumb as a brace, you know, get it get it tight to where you're not flailing in the breeze with it. So you got control. I even usually get it up to my chest. So the beauty of using a file, it leaves you with a really good edge, it's not rough. And it takes the material off at a slow enough pace where you don't overshoot the line. Sandpaper and then permagrit. This is a fine permagrit and it's coarse. Um, permagrit works really well too. So now that I got this thing filed down right up to the line, then I take a 220 here. I just triple it up. So here's how I check the symmetry of this template. The first thing I do just use the plan here. I'm going to draw a straight line. Okay. Get my ink going here. Okay, there's my straight line. Now I'm going to take this template. I'm going to line that center line of the template up exactly with that line I just drew. And we're talking just dead on it. So I'm going to trace around this template. And I like to hold the pen tight to it. I don't like to waver it. You know, I get it at this angle as tight as I can to the template and I trace it. It's important that you keep keep it tight to the template. You don't angle it out. 
So then you double check and make sure that this line matches, follows your template. And then you flip it over. Now you can't see the center line of your template anymore, but you can see the point. Because if you remember, the point comes to, a, to the center line. So if I'm looking at this template here, I'm looking at like, well, I'm lining this up. Looks like it might be just a couple thousands bigger. So I want to see this line, this tracing, when I flip the template exactly on the following the template. So, by looking at this, it looks like I have a little extra material right here. And then I have a little extra material, it's like right in here. So then I'll work it down. Or you can buy 16th inch phenolic, that's, that's the best uh, way of doing it. I was getting this phenolic here, this countertop material, really cheap. I'd buy damaged sheets. So we're looking good here. Um, I'm going to take a little bit more here. I think that'll get us where we need to be. So the last step here, as far as finishing these templates, is take, this is 2000. No reason I'm using it, it's what I could find in the drawer. 600 uh, and 1000 might be good. But this works, it's, um, it's putting a really nice uh, slick edge on this template. Tops out here for the stop and the leading and trailing edge for that foam cutter I've got, and then um, drilling the holes for the pins that attach it to the foam core. So this is gonna make the outside mark here for the uh, coring templates. Be the high spot of his wing and then I'll line this scribe line up to my center line I'm trying to get the glare off this thing so as I'm looking through this plastic square I can see the line underneath it matches up to my scribe line and there's the uh, spar what I got laid out. So the quickest way I found to get the inside here, <clears throat> I use a Dremel tool, it's like I showed before on the uh, outside. I like to just take a small little file and I'll file the flats a little bit after I Dremel it. And it doesn't have to be perfect for this, this part of the template. So I get it fairly smooth and then I can uh, go back with a little sandpaper. This is 220. I think it's really good. So get you a piece of fresh 220. It'd even be better if you could put it on a a little stick, make up a little, like a nail file. And once I get that pretty smooth, then to get the corners, I use a round file. So 
So I got this one cored out pretty aggressive. It's um should be pretty light. I got it pretty aggressive. <laughs> 